God bless your life. Thank you for tuning in to the Revival Center at Cincinnati Worship Service. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you today. I'm asking that everyone would just increase their faith today. For I just felt in my spirit today that the Lord was saying, bring your own faith. Bring your own faith for the impossible is going to happen, but it's going to happen because of your faith, God's word will equal your deliverance, your faith plus God's word will equal your breakthrough, your 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 blessing, what you've been waiting for. Ah, you yeah. know, in my spirit, I just felt some things have been held up in the heavens and God said he's about to release them now in the name of Jesus, but it's time for your faith to line up with God's word. And when God releases this time, when God releases what he's going to release this time, see the last time, thank you, Holy Ghost, the last time you messed it up because your mind wasn't ready. But God said when he releases it this time in this season, your mindset, your mentality will be ready to receive it in the name of Jesus. Lord, we say thank you in advance for allowing us the opportunity to receive your blessings again. Many of us have ruined the opportunities that you have given us. And Father, today, we say thank you in advance for granting us another opportunity. Ah, that's sick it by you. He's sick it to Shaddai. God, we say thank you. We say thank you for loving and loving us enough to allow us another opportunity to walk in your blessings. So share this post, share this service, and tell all your friends, bring your own faith, bring your own faith, bring your own faith, bring your own faith, bring your own faith. For today, I feel that the Lord is going to align us with his word, which means sometimes you got to shift to where you're sending your faith to and send it to where God's word is. God, we say thank you. So be blessed. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. God bless your life. Focus off of you, God. God, we 
be pulled out every stronghold and everything that acknowledges it, uh, that, that exalts itself against the knowledge of Christ. Everything that is in our way, God, we tear it down now in the name of Jesus, God. And we follow hard after you, God. And we're coming to you, God, for you are the answer. You are our hope, God. You are our refuge in the time of trouble, in the time that we need you, God. You are our shelter, God, from the time of the storm, God. And we're running to you, running into your presence, God. For in your presence there's fullness of joy, and at your right hand there are pleasures forevermore. And God, you would not say it if it was not so, God. And we're standing on your promises on today, oh God. God, remove anxiety, remove worry, remove stress, God. And let your perfect love just consume us on today, God. Let your perfect love consume us on today, God. We declare that your perfect love will cast out fear. And it will cast out any and everything that you have not planted into our lives, God. God, and as we lift our hands, in your presence, God. And we begin to set our minds on those things which are above, that are of good report, that are praiseworthy. As we concentrate on you and what you're doing. God, we exalt you. We enthrone you, oh God. So God, remove everything that is in our hearts that we have put in its place so that you can sit on the throne of our hearts, God, and you can reign, God. Oh God, we love nothing and no one more than you. We put nothing above you, God. Oh, glory to your name, God. We love you today, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for who you are, God. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. You are a mighty God. You are our refuge, God, our strength, God, our hope, God. You are our strong tower. You are Abba Father. You are Abba Daddy God. we know, God. Oh, God, we honor you in this place, oh, God. Dispatch your angels round about this place to minister to your people. God, in the name of Jesus, minister to every need, God, as we minister to you, God. As we come into this place to minister to you, God. people that you would come into this house God we invite you here we invite you in this place oh God we invite you in this place oh God Hosanna we cry in the highest Hosanna we cry in the highest Hosanna we cry in the highest Have your way in this place. Have your way in this region, God. We say that you reign. We say that you reign. That you rule. And you have authority, God. And that authority that Christ took when he was raised up from the dead. God, that same power lives in us, God. And we take our authority and our dominion. And we speak over this atmosphere. And we say shift in the mighty name of Jesus. Make it conducive for a king to come on in. Come on, king of glory. You are the old ancient of days. You are the ancient of days. You are the risen savior. You are the risen king. And that is who we come to glorify. Saying to the Lord, God rebuke you. And all of your antics in the mighty name of Jesus, we command you to go back to the utter darkness. And there be confined until your day of the 
Lord cometh until it's time for you to go into hell and there be confined. Hallelujah, we take dominion over this atmosphere and we make it conducive for miracles to translate in the mighty name and to take place. God, let your spirit break forth, God. Let your people break forth dancing and singing, God. Where they have been barren, God, I speak life. I speak to the dry bones in this house, God, and I say live. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And I speak faith. Where there's doubting God. In the mighty name of Jesus. God we come up a little higher. Because without faith it's impossible to please you God. So God we, uh, we align our faith with your word God. And anything can happen in this atmosphere God. God and we thank you for what you're doing in our midst God. And as we intercede for those who are homeless, God, for those who are hungry, God, and for even what you're doing in our nation in this next move, God, that we are not sleep, God. I command the church to arise and wake up from their slumber, God, and begin to intercede, God, and begin to shift this nation and let it be a nation that follows hard after you again, God. We repent for all that you would heal our land, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. Let warriors arise from out of the cave, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, let prophets arise and begin to declare your word. In the mighty name of Jesus, in this land, God. In Jesus' mighty name, oh God, in the name of Jesus, God. God, in the authentic church that you are calling to yourself, God. Let them come from the outer walls, God. Let them come from the streets, God. Let them stop slinging dope and be called into your own, God. God, you can do the impossible, God. For it's your glory, God, that we long to see in this earth, God. It's your glory, Lord. We long to see in this land, God. We're crying out for your glory. We're crying out for your glory. We're crying out for your glory. God, we're crying out for your glory. Glory, glory.
hallelujah in this place. God, we need you. God, we need you in this place, oh God. I have the keys to the kingdom, and whatever I bind on earth, yeah. in heaven, whatever I loose on earth, is loose in heaven. I bind the keys of the chains and nobles, the fetters and iron. I bind the strong man and spoils his good. I bind the lion man and all the proud spirits arrayed against my life. I bind the principalities, powers, rules in the darkness of this world, and spiritual weakness in high places. I bind the sickness and disease released against my mind or my body. I let the exile be loose. Let the prisoners be loose. Loose those appointed to death. I loose my neck from all the bands. I lose myself from the bands of the wickedness. I lose myself from the bands of Orion. I lose myself from all the bonds. I lose my mind, my will, my emotions from every assignment and spirit of darkness in the name of Jesus. I lose my city and region from every assignment of hell. I lose my finances from every spirit of poverty, death, and life. I lose myself from all generational curses and hereditary. I lose myself from every smoky curse and negative word spoken against my life. Let the enemy be ashamed and sword and vexed. Let them return and be ashamed suddenly. Show me a token for my good that they which hate me may see and be ashamed. Put to shame those who seek after my soul. Let those who seek hurt to hurt me be called for shame. Scatter their bones and put them to shame. Let those who seek after my be ashamed and confounded. Let those who desire my heart turn backwards and put to the few. Fill their faces with shame. Let all the incense against you be ashamed. Let those who are wise against me be ashamed. Let the proud spirit be ashamed because the Lord is my light and my salvation. Who shall I fear? The Lord is the defense of my life. And who shall I dread? But the
Sometimes God will take us from being on a mountain to the bottom of a mountain to be a blessing to somebody else. All I right. can't hear nobody. All right. All right. You know, if all of us spent all of our time on the mountain, we would not be able to preach to those who are poor, busted, and disgusted. Mm -hmm. Hear what I'm saying, church? And I know we enjoy. Wow, thank you, Holy Ghost. I know we joy. We enjoy always living on top, li living our life like it's golden. You know, living on top of the world. All but sometimes, even though you are who you are, and somebody say you have to come down. You have to come down. So the Bible says Jesus came down from on the mountain, and large groups of crowds followed him. Hear what I'm saying. Sometimes God will take you up so that He can take folk where they are, so that you can bring them down, so that they can be a blessing to everybody else. Hear what I'm saying? Not everybody needs to have five thousand members in their church. All right. Let's talk about it, because everybody want our church to be the biggest church, whatever. I just need those who are going to follow what the Lord is saying. Amen. Oh, my God, y'all don't like that. It's all good. Oh, y'all do like it. I forgot. I'm in my own church. Thank you, Toya, for reminding me. Yeah. I wish I had a church. Mm. Amen here. <laughs> Tuesday Bible class. Come to Bible class Tuesday nights, 730 this place location. Amen. So Jesus came down off the mountain and watched because they had been with him so long. They had been listening to him. They dared to follow him. So the Bible says that when Jesus left, the crowds did what? They followed him and watched. And the Bible says once he got down to the bottom, and this is why it's critical because sometimes when you're at the top, there aren't any issues. There aren't any problems. There aren't any things up there. So while Jesus was up there, people were yearning for him and they wanted to be taught. But at the bottom of a mountain, of the mountain, was a man dealing with a serious issue. Oh, I wish I had a church. Anybody glad that we serve a guy who, 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 who we serve a God who sits high, but he looks low. I can't get no help yeah, yeah, in here. Yeah, I told y'all yeah. we weren't going to be long. I, do I have anybody in here that's glad that we serve a God that was willing to say, I'll take myself off my throne Yes, and God. send a part of me as my son Jesus down to save the people. Yes, oh, I wish I had somebody in here. God says I'm willing to come from where I am to come down to where you are to be a blessing in your life. Anybody ever been in a situation and you can honestly say if it had not been for God reaching down in my situation, I would have yes, been sir. dead right now. If it had not been for God coming right down in the midst of my nastiness, I would still be toe up. And to be honest, I'm a little more, I'm, I'm still a little toe up. Yes, but I yet got a God that keep reaching down in my soul. Uh, I told y'all I wouldn't go be long. Slap your neighbor uh, for the first time and say, neighbor, he came all the way down. He came down. He came down and the Bible says when he got there, watch this, and the leper came to him and bowed down before him. Watch the leopard somehow, some way had to be watching Jesus come down off the mountain. Many of us, are we have gotten unfocused. We have gotten focused on our title. We have gotten focused on our house or our land or how much money I'm making or how much this. But at the moment, this leper didn't care about anything else but the person coming off the mountain. Y'all ain't getting me yet. What did David say? I will look to the from which cometh my help and my help come from the Lord. So sometimes you have to take your mind off of what's going on around you and put your mind on the 